Okay, it's been a busy time with my vacation, the National Restaurant Show in Chicago, my daughter received the RFK Award in DC, and the girlfriend getaway I have avoided. I mean, I've missed so many editions of Turton Back Time, I can hardly wait. So here we go. Thanks for that. Thanks. Okay, here we go. Looking back at this week in history, July 1st, 1941, first television commercial. Television's first official commercial is aired on WNBT of New York. It was a 10 second ad for Bull of the Watches. This was the first day that commercial television was authorized in the United States. 1904. The Olympic Games first held in the U.S. They open at the St. Louis Exposition. Due to travel expenses, only 12 to 15 nations were represented, which might have something to do with gymnast George Iser winning six medals in one day, even though he had a wooden leg. What? Yep, yep. The Games ran until November 23rd. Wow. Happy birthday to David Prowse. 1935, English actor best known for his role as Darth Vader. Hmm. In 2010, he was banned from attending Lucasfilm events, reportedly because he annoyed George Lucas. Ooh, don't want to do that. Also, Jamie Farr, you know him, born in 1934, Corporal Max Klinger on MASH. Supposedly, he was inspired by comedian Lenny Bruce's attempt to be discharged from World War II service by dressing in waves uniforms. <laughs> All right, July 2nd. 1937, Amelia Earhart disappears. Her plane disappeared over the Pacific Ocean as she and Fred Noonan attempt to circle the globe. And everybody constantly says, oh, we think we found, we think we found, but I don't know. In 1962, Walmart opens its first store in Rogers, Arkansas, opened by Sam Walton, who had previous success with his Bentonville Five and Dime store. Now he opened, there it is, the grand opening of Walmart. It worked out somehow. It, he did well at that, I think. All right, Polly Holiday, happy birthday. 1937, that's American actress, she was on Flo, known for, remember her saying? Kiss, Kiss my, my grits. grits. That's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. All right, July 3rd, 1958, the Andy Williams Show debuts on ABC, 1958. 58, 58. really, okay. And in 1928, the first public demonstration of color television by John Logie Baird in London. His system used scanning discs at the transmitting and receiving end with three spirals of apertures, each with a filter of different primary colors. The demonstration was of actress Noelle Gordon wearing different colored hats. And a happy birthday to Tom Cruise. We all know who he is. Okay. Tom Cruise Maypother the Fourth, I think is his name. What? Actually, yeah, yeah. Really? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh. In 1960, right. the United States officially raises its new 50 star flag for the first time. In 59, Alaska and Hawaii join mm -hmm. the other 48. 1979, Teresa Salcido is the first baby born in Disneyland. This photo was from about two days later. Why was she born in Disneyland? She was in Disneyland. She was she ready gave to birth. show up. Boom, there it is, All right? right? Also, happy birthday to Ann Landers, Esther Pauline Friedman in 1918. She was Ask Ann Landers and her twin sister, Abigail Van Buren, Pauline Esther Friedman. All right? Twin sisters, all right? 1946, the bikini is introduced at a Paris fashion show designed by Louis Reard. Because none of the models would wear it, he had to hire a new dancer to model it. Really? They wouldn't wear it, all right? In 1865, William Booth and his wife Catherine found the Christian mission in London. It was renamed the Salvation Army in 1878. Birthdays, P.T. Barnum, Phineas Taylor Barnum, 1810, that's when he was born. Great American showman and founder of Barnum and Bailey Circus. Credited with the saying, there's a sucker born every minute. And happy birthday, 1958, Bill Watterson, creator of Calvin and Hobbes. And finally this, what is the substance, the only substance on earth that is lighter as a solid than it is as a liquid? Wouldn't be water, would it? Water. Really? That's why ice, clu ice, ice. cubes float. That's it. I wondered about that. Oh, okay. That wraps it up Good for this know. edition of Turton Back Time. 
Ground there, I gotta tell I you. Tried yeah, to, and of course, you know, there are so many things when you're talking about this week because of the Declaration of Independence yeah. and everything like that. And I think this during this week was when they finished George Washington's head on the you know Mount Rushmore. Oh wow! And all that kind of things. A lot, a lot of, of stuff. Americana. Interesting stuff this week. All right, music is something no doubt soothes the soul. We're going to talk to an organization that brings music to people who need it the most. Stick around because you definitely do not want to miss this.